international guests from uh, Botswana. Uh, today, they will be blessing us with God's word. And uh, I know how to, to receive them in Jesus' name. Amen. See a better amen now. Amen. <laughs> let your amen be, let it carry life. You know, let it be full of life. Hallelujah. I just also prepare ourselves. Uh, I'll be calling on Pastor Douglas who will introduce them to us. I don't know them much. Pastor Douglas will introduce them to us. And uh, I trust the Lord today that we'll be blessed through their ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Douglas. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Yeshua. Are we happy? God is faithful who has called us and found us faithful in the ministry. Amen. It's so good to be here once again. And I'm trusting God that what God is preparing us is to do his will and to fulfill it. And we will not fail God. We will not fail God. If God count you faithful and place you in this assignment. It is demanded that you will honor God. Praise God. I read the scripture. It said that I have found the son of Jesse who will fulfill all my will. I found the son of Jesse, David, who will fulfill all my will. Then after David has lived and gone, in Acts of Apostle chapter 13, 36, he said, and David, after he served his generation according to the will of God, he slept. So, ministry is all about doing his will. Praise God. Yeshua said, as it is in heaven, let it be done. Thy will be done on earth. And Yeshua also said that in the volume of the book, it is written of me, I come to do your will. Ministry is nothing else but doing the will of God. Ministry is not structure. It's not something we acquire. Because when you appear before the Lord, he won't ask you, where is your building? Will he ask? He won't ask you, where is your car? He won't even ask you, how many nations did you travel to? He won't even ask you that. Huh? He won't even ask you, um, what did you achieve in the ministry? They only scan one thing, are you in the measure of the stature? What manner of person ought you to be? What manner of person? Anybody can have money. Even a fool can be rich. Huh? A fool can even be rich. A fool can have money. Nabal was a fool. Right? Nabal. The Bible said the name means fool, but he was wealthy. He was wealthy. I always tell you, if it is for the material Jesus wouldn't have come because men have had the material before Jesus came. And the rich young ruler saw something that Jesus brought that is far superior to what he has. He said, Kai, what must I do to have this? Jesus said, this thing is expensive than what you have. It will cost you to sell everything. In other words, detach yourself and come into this. But you see, when you obey his will, wealth will follow you. The material will follow you. Things will follow you. Praise God. God sent men. Men with womb. <laughs> All the way from Botswana to come to do his will. 
and they obeyed. And what amazed me is that we travel by road from here to, to where they were happy. Amen. Say so thank God they have been able to see Nigeria. Because this is their first time to come to Nigeria. They are so happy, so excited. Anything you give them, they will take it, they will rejoice. It will make you to feel, even when you are feeling bad, that you didn't you know, give them something awesome. They still feel this joy inside them. You see, make you to feel happy. I love them so much. When we are in, a, in all the places we, we go, some of them we are, we are crying that they shouldn't go. We had a nice time, you know, when we got to Omoaya, it was awesome. Even Pastor said, I have to say, as long as he live, every year they'll come to worry. Oh my brethren, the pastor said that we don't know it is like this. That next year, all of us will team up together and host them. So it has been so awesome. They abandoned their family, their work, and everything. Spent resources just to come to Nigeria. It's not easy. They came to do his will. And that's ministry. They didn't come to take money. They didn't come to, you know, to buy buildings. They came for the purpose of the gospel. It's so exciting. So we have in the house a woman that has a track record who started from childhood. I love her so much. Apostle Dr. Rose Kajinga, all the way from Francis Town, Botswana. Can we welcome her as she come to bless us this morning with God's word. Hallelujah. Praise God. 